what's up everybody it's the white boy from the yard and i'm back at it again with another enhanced question series with dr tony huge where him and i will be answering questions followers be sending me in on my instagram which is white boy from the yard so if you guys have any questions go out to my instagram and i will respond on them as soon as possible and try and make videos on all the good questions so today we took another good question out of it which is what happens when doing your first injectable LGD4033, which is Magnolone, as a cycle, um, and you use a 1cc slash ML barrel, and you do like 50 milligrams a day. So it's kind of like mega dosing. All right, so what happens when you mega dose Magnolone, 1cc per day, uh, as maybe like a beginner is what it sounds like you're talking about? Well, that's really strong, right? That's gonna be stronger anabolic wise than most pretty hardcore steroid cycle. So someone's gonna gain a lot of muscle, uh, but it depends on how much they eat, right? If you look at the whole anabolic matrix and all the factors that go into muscle growth, the androgen receptor on the muscle cell is only one factor and one growth pathway. So we're, you're basically absolutely hitting that with the most powerful anabolic and dosage that you can. So that's not gonna be a limiting factor. It's gonna be other things. Now at that dosage, natural testosterone, is gonna completely crash. Now, even though the injectable version of the SARMs is less suppressive on natural testosterone than the oral version, at 50 milligrams of injectable, that's a high enough dosage, it's probably gonna cause major testosterone suppression. So I would expect someone to notice incredible muscle gains for the first two to three weeks, at which point their natural testosterone is gonna be very low and that's fine. We don't need testosterone to build muscle, but we need estrogen. So because natural testosterone is likely to crash, then so is estrogen. That's why it helps to add in something like HCG or birth control estrogen or a little bit of testosterone or something else that converts into estrogen. Nevertheless, even in the absence of estrogen or very low estrogen, someone's still gonna build a lot of muscle on 50 milligrams of LGD per day. There's not gonna be any liver toxicity. There's not gonna be any kidney toxicity. There's not gonna be any toxicity to the body generally in most people, although some people have predispositions to side effects. Some people are overly sensitive, kind of like someone could be allergic to peanuts, right? Well, with these compounds at those dosages, someone could be very sensitive to some of the possible yet remotely uh, unlikely side effects, which is why it's always a bad idea to start and jump in with a really high dosage. It's much smarter to start with a very low dosage just like you do a skin test. Anytime you use a new shampoo or lotion, you're supposed to test it out on your skin to make sure you don't have any adverse reactions. Same thing goes with bodybuilding compounds. We start with a very small amount and we see how our body reacts. The nice thing about the Magnolone injectable LGD is that it's got a fairly short half-life. So if we do experience any side effects, we can just stop. But when we do stop, we probably want to consider doing a PCT, post-cycle therapy, to help our natural testosterone come back. Good thing about SARMs in general is that natural testosterone comes back much faster right afterwards than steroids. Steroids generally suppress natural testosterone for a much longer period of time. So my, me personally, if I'm going to do 50 milligrams of ligandrol, uh, which is the Magnolone, I'm going to do a PCT afterwards, even if it's just for two weeks. And it's just a standard PCT of a natural test booster, uh, HCG uh, optionally, and uh, very likely needing tamoxifen and or Clomid. Okay, awesome. Thanks again, Tony, for answering these questions. And we will talk very soon. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to go out to my Instagram, drop a question there in my DM, and me and Tony will discuss them all you know so thanks a lot for watching again don't forget to subscribe go out to anabolicsv.com and subscribe there as well so let's get massive guys <laughs>